Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be having a look at this Henry Vacuum Cleaner by Kasdan. Now on my channel quite a while ago I made a video of a Henry Vacuum by Kasdan but this is the very latest model and it's designed to match the new version of the Henry Vacuum Cleaner by Pneumatic International. So this one has a few differences to the one in the original video I made. So let's remove Henry from the box and see what those differences are. Well here's Henry out of the box looking very like the Henry I've shown you before but there are some differences and mainly we'll find the differences round the back. When you first open Henry you need to put this little knob on the top into position. It comes loose and you just push that in to secure it into place. So this is where we find one of the main differences around the back of Henry because now we've got storage for two small cleaning tools and we also have a parking slot to attach the wand and the main carpet and floor nozzle which has also had a makeover to match the carpet and floor nozzle supplied with the real Henry vacuum. So apart from that it's much the same. All the tools are stored inside so let's take Henry's hat off and have a look at them. So removing Henry's hat we can see all the tools neatly inside. Now this doesn't actually come with a dustpan and brush, you used to get that with the older version, but this does come with an additional cleaning tool or tools, I'm not sure if it's two additional tools. But this here, if I can take it out, is the new style carpet and floor head. It's even got a roller to make it easier to push and as we can see that's the inlet for Henry to collect all the dirt. This does have a little motor in it with real suction and I'll demonstrate that shortly. But you can see it is a very detailed nozzle. It pivots up and down and also swivels at this end as well. So that's the first big change with the tools. The hose has changed as well. It seems a very good quality hose but now also apart from the hose changing it's got this screw fitting just like the full sized Henry so that screws onto Henry's nose so there's the hose this is the curved part of the handle and we've got two extension ones which are see-through so you can see the dirt going up them this little piece connects the ones together. This is a new nozzle with the brand new Henry. This is a simulated dusting brush. And finally, we've got a little crevice tool. And as you can see, all the bits store in there. It's a bit hard to see on camera but there are symbols printed onto the plastic to show you where to put all the bits. But I think once you've taken all the bits out and assembled it, you'll probably leave Henry with all his tools ready for use. So, once we've taken everything out, we can pop Henry's hat back on, but this time we need to make sure we line it up. There's a cut out there, look. And we need to line it up with this piece here, just like the real thing. Once Henry's hat's on, we push in the two clips either side to secure the hat. So now when we lift his carry handle, we should be able to lift Henry up from his handle. We've got two pretend switches on the back they don't do anything but there is a new on off switch now on the side there so you press that to turn Henry on and off but Henry won't work without batteries so if we look on the underside we can also see that Henry's got two swivel casters and two large wheels 
but this is the battery compartment so we need a screwdriver to remove this screw so we can access the compartment and fit the batteries. You need a small Phillips or crosshead screwdriver to remove the single screw and then we should be able to take the cover off the battery compartment. There we go and we can see that Henry requires four C-sized batteries. So we'll pop them in, make sure they go the correct way, like that. So once they're correctly positioned, we can pop the cover back on and tighten up the screw. Now that Henry's belly is primed with batteries, we'll be able to use him for a demonstration. But first we need to pop his hat back on. And I took it off when I put the batteries in. And we need to pop Henry's hose or his nose into position. And it goes with the screw head here, look. So we need to just screw that on again just like the real thing, the way you fit the hose. So screw it in place, and you've got a nice tight fit there. Henry's ready to do some serious dust busting. Onto the end of the hose, we need to pop the curved handle piece. So that just pushes on and you twist it. That's it, and it's locked into position. And then, one of the clear tubes, just locate it in and then twist to lock. And then this middle piece here goes in the middle, fit it exactly the same way, push on and twist until it locks. Then the lower wand, of course, you don't have to put both wands on if you don't want to. And finally, we've got the new style carpet and floor nozzle. Again, just push and twist. So, there we go. That's Henry assembled and ready for use, but we've still got the two small tools, so we can put the dusting tool here, and the crevice tool fits there. And just like the real Henry, we can slot the nozzle into the parking bracket. At the back of Henry is where we empty the pretend dirt. So there's a little catch. We need to move that up and pull out Henry's dirt container that has a clear window so we can see how full it is. Little Henry is only designed to pick up small pieces of dirt such as little bits of paper or even better polystyrene balls. Now you don't get any with Little Henry but you can easily get hold of these from eBay or Amazon. So I've got a bag of multicoloured balls which I'm going to put down on this rug and see how well Little Henry can pick them up. This Henry even comes with a pretend plug and mains cable so we need to pull it out and it makes a, a noise when you do so. We need to pull it out fully and then we can plug it in. And of course, when we want to finish and wind up the cable, we can use the special winder on the top. Whoops, I got it caught then. There we are. And wind up the cable. So we need to use Henry. So we're going to pull the cable out again. Like that. There we are, I'll find somewhere to plug Henry in. Okay, I'm going to put some dirt down now, just in front of Henry. I'm sure he's going to enjoy gobbling that up. Looks very appetizing, but obviously, this is Henry food and not food for you to eat. It does look a bit like hundreds and thousands, but it isn't. This is just for Henry's tummy, not yours. Well, there's rather a lot of mess there. 
I hope Henry can pick it all up. Little Henry did very well in that test. In fact, I'd say that this particular toy vacuum has the most suction power of any of the toy vacuums I've looked at so far, but I've got quite a lot more to look at. But Henry at the moment is in the lead. So we need to empty out Henry's dust container. Look at all that. What a load of mess Henry picked up. I'm spreading it out now because we're now going to see how well Henry does using his carpet and floor nozzle, the new redesigned one here. So that's, oh, that's a big mess. That's the biggest mess I've put down for a toy vacuum, but I think Henry can cope. Well, it looks like Henry's suffering from what quite a few of the vacuums I've looked at recently are suffering from, and that is static cling. Look at the polystyrene balls. They're sticking. <laughs> Henry has sucked up a lot, but a lot of them are sticking to this nozzle on the outside. It's possible because I've got a man-made fibre plush rug that doesn't help, you see. When you move the nozzle over this rug here, it's causing a static charge, and the polystyrene balls are sticking to the plastic surface. But if we persevere, I'm sure <laughs> that we'll be able to suck up all the balls into Henry's bagless compartment. Okay, Henry, let's try you again. Okay, here goes the final demonstration on a hard floor. Well, that's about the end of my demonstration on the new version, Kasdan Henry Vacuum Cleaner. I think it's definitely an improvement on the previous Toy Henry. This nozzle seems a lot better. The little roller makes it easy to push. And I like the additional tools on board, the dusting brush and the crevice tool. 
and it's got a nice large capacity and pretty powerful suction for a toy vacuum. If you want to buy one of these, I'll put a link below the video for the Toy Henry as well as the Toy Hetty, which is exactly the same as Henry, but it's obviously is pink with some eyelashes and says Hetty instead of Henry. But Hetty will function just the same as the Henry, but I will be doing a review of the new version Hetty as well on my channel, so there'll be a link to that as soon as I put that review up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Henry.